Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this timeless tarot reading about your soul journey activations and what energies are shifting for you at this time. So on your soul's journey as you are receiving these new light activations as we all are, what energies are they shifting for you at this time? So this is a general tarot reading. So only go with the messages that resonate with you. As my readings are intended to give you confirmation to that which you already know. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. That is beautiful. It's really important to um, do what you love. And if you can be successful at that, that brings you even greater joy. Okay, let's see how this is activating you on your soul journey. Miracle number 33. The frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. Okay, for you in this reading, I'm getting that you might have people that are like naysayers that are telling you, you can't do that. That's not going to work for you. Um, don't listen to that. Listen to your heart. Let that guide you. Let your inspiration and your creativity, if you are moved to do something, that act that you do could very well be the miracle. And then we have, ooh, romantic love with number 39. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with the reflections of a conscious love. Again, telling us the greater goal is love. I know there is no greater goal than love. Okay, I'm getting the feeling for those of you who are watching this reading, you may have felt that you didn't deserve love. You didn't deserve romance. This and this suddenly brings somebody into your life. This could also be a project that you really love and you find a romantic love in that process. And together, you both are doing what you love to do and it brings that much more success to whatever it is that you're creating. This could also be creating a family because the birth of a child is miraculous. Perhaps some of you thought that you couldn't conceive. This could be that success. Okay, let's see how this is shifting your energy because as your energy shifts, your perspectives are going to shift. Okay, also hearing somebody who's being a matchmaker. So you're bringing the miracle of romantic love to people. You be could be creating a website for people to meet up and um, learn about each other and maybe be like a matchmaker. 
or you just might be successful in bringing, you know, two of your friends together. Okay, let's see. Okay, hostilities with number 26. Okay, that is going along with those naysayers that I was talking about earlier um, that are saying you can't uh, do that, you know, because this is the miracle energy. This is your faith. If you have faith and believe in what you do, you will find a way to succeed. And this is saying, you know, there's going to be some hostilities um, about your success. This could be those people that don't want to see you succeed. So let's see here. Victory. Look at that. You're going to overcome those naysayers with 28 and have this romantic love. This could also be a relationship that... Um, People might have told you that isn't good. It's not good for you. Um, but perhaps, you know, somehow you are a match for each other. This could also be hostilities of somebody being jealous. Think of the things that can make people hostile. Pa you know, passions, jealousy, hatred. Uh, je uh, quite often, jealousy and envy can easily turn into hatred, but you're surrounded by this positive energy that's really going to be pushing this negative energy out of your realm. So if you have those hostile energies, those naysayers in your life, your positive energy and you continuing to follow your heart is going to bring you victory in this romantic love. This could be your ex getting hostile because you found somebody who is treating you right, who is going to treat you with love and kindness. Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot. Let's find out more about this hostile hostility going on. Judgment. Yeah, you're rising out of this negative situation. You're rising out of the dead and you're rising like the phoenix. Right here we have the phoenix rising from the ashes. And this person or people are not going to hold you back with their negativity. The king of pentacles, you're going to be successful despite what they try to do. This just amplifies the success card. The Page of Wands. This is ruled by Sagittarius. So this is somebody who has a higher knowledge. This is a fun person to be with. Um, and they're really going to kind of, as you bring more positive people around you, it's really going to um, maybe make angry that naysayer because you're surrounding yourself with strength of positive people. Uh, perhaps this person was telling you nobody likes you and you didn't think that it was possible. But here, you know, you have the miracle of all the right people coming to you in your life. And the wheel, the tables are turning. As the tables turn, your powers return. And that can also make those naysayers or your ex really hostile. But that, that anger is just going to eat at themselves because 
There are no other cards where they're striking out. They're just empty words. They're trying to destroy you with, with uh, gossip, perhaps, because we have the sword, which is air sign, um, and communications. So this could be somebody who is just talking crap about you. And look, you're rising up from it even more powerful, more determined to be successful because you're surrounded. And that determination is going to attract people that are positive. This could be you even um, learning something new, uh, reading a book that inspires you. But here we have this trump card. So you have the judgment card, which is rising you up out of the ashes. And the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Okay, then for the victory, you are definitely going to be victorious. You are receiving these beautiful accolades and recognition, honors. This could also be you graduating from college or uh, some, some trade that you were studying. You may have met someone there or you will soon meet someone there. The chariot, yes. Victory. I immediately see the... Uh, the Roman Caesar in the chariot. Let me just straighten out my camera. There we go. Sorry about that. I immediately saw Caesar because here we have the golden wreath of the bay laurel leaves and the chariot, which is, there is a tension there because you have to keep the tension on the reins on the horse in the traditional tarot cards it is you know the chariot and the horse the two horses one black one white expressing the opposing energies but the chariot is what they are pulling and it is your tension on the reins that guide those opposing forces to roll you forward and bringing you victory. And I love it with the wheel over here because those tables are turning and it is going to be so positive for you. The Ten of Pentacles, yes. Financial freedom, being able to do what you want to do. Again, this could very well be graduating or learning a course successfully that brings you um, success, financial success, uh, brings you work. And if you, this is, this could even be tarot reading or um, art, anything, because again, this is working through love, your greater goal, working through love doing what you love. Here we have the three of wands. You are expanding your ideas and it's going to bring you even more victory, more honor, more recognition. The knight of pentacles. All you have to do is answer your calling. You were put here on this planet with a purpose to be successful. All you need to do is answer the call. This is telling you, yes, you do have to put in the work. Success isn't just going to happen for you. You have to answer the calling. You have to listen to what feels right. And sure, we have this miracle and the wheel of fortune and success and victory. This could even be winning the lottery for some of you. Winning something big. 
you suddenly have this urge that I got to play this card or I got to play these numbers. Um, answer that calling. Listen to that inner urging of I have to do this. Now let's look at the success. The world. I love it. You are going to be successful in the world. And no, there is no greater goal than love. You are loving life. And it looks like that many of you are going to have your true love to share this. The world is going to be filled with romance for you. The Four of Wands, this is this could be you moving in together. This is the Happy Harvest Home where your friends and family are welcome. And again, you know, we do have these hostilities, but notice that nothing is feeding into it. I get the feeling that you are going no contact with these hostile people or person. Somebody who has just been talking crap about you. And guess what? They are getting theirs because the tables are turning and your powers are returning. And you are going to be victorious. The King of Wands. This is bringing that fire and passion to what inspires you. This is the King who... Uh, acts on his inspiration and finds success through that which inspires him. And sometimes you need to have that romantic love to give you where you have this lovely exchange of energies of love through romance. And it allows you to reflect on each other. And you're reflecting love back to each other. And that might be something that you aren't familiar with because you've been dealing with this hostility. Okay, then we have the page of chalices. Yes, here you are celebrating life. All is good. All is well. Wow, this is a beautiful reading. Now let's just conclude it with a Power Thought card. Okay, and for some of you, if you were drawn more to this card because you've been dealing with a lot of hostilities, this row definitely depicts you are releasing the hostility, you're rising above it, you're going to surround yourself with uh, positive, powerful people, and you are reclaiming your power. For those of you who are drawn more to the victory card, here we have with the chariot, um, independence, and financial independence, because here we have the chariot with the ten of pentacles. This is financial freedom. And that allows you to travel, explore. This is a risk um, in expanding your ideas. But do that when the calling is right, when the time is right. The knight of pentacles, even though he's an instigator of change, it is also a card of patience. So if you're taking this risk, it is saying be patient. All right. Now let's see what your power thought card is. I love it. I deserve the best, and I accept the best now. 
I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good. Wow, that is a powerful message to those hostile energies that are in your life. That hostile energy, you're telling them you're done. You're done with fighting um, because all that fighting is just guiding you to the path that you're meant to be on. And now you are ready to accept the best because you now recognize and answer the calling. You now accept the best. You know that you deserve the best. And those hard lessons that you learned from the hustle, because we should take away the lessons in a positive light because it did make us stronger. We didn't fall into um, being hostile ourselves. And if we were struggling with our own hostilities because people talk bad about us, it taught you to be stronger and rise above and to become, perhaps you had to learn some uh, emotional coping skills that you didn't learn before, that you didn't know, you were not not prepared to um, deal with such hostile, negative people or your own emotions because when you had hostile energies projected at you, you may have reflected that back to them because you didn't know what else to do, but then you did learn and you let love be your guide and you now know that you deserve the best, you accept it, you love it, and you're even accepting a greater love in your life. Okay, I hope that this reading resonated with you and really gave you uh, some positive affirmations. Uh, this is beautiful reading, especially for those of you who are um, working through and leaving a negative relationship or situation because that could be a uh, love, a workplace. Hostilities can show up anywhere and you're going no contact with that. And you're just being given all this positive affirmations for making that move because now you have made room for all this love that you deserve. Okay. I'm going to end your reading here. Till next time, take care.